a new video of Garden of Bamban 2 made of clay has arrived. Today, I will be creating Captain Fiddles, Solfuse, and the Baby Opila Birds. Also, I will be telling you more about these characters, so get comfortable and enjoy this video. Captain Fiddles is one of the main characters in Garden of Ban Ban, but he doesn't really play an important role in any of the two chapters of this video game, only the other members of his Fiddles team are the important ones. Captain Fiddles is a short humanoid figure on the presentation wall of the characters in the garden of the first and second video game, we can notice that he is lavender color and his face is located on his chest. This character has two medium sized eyes, a large mouth and two very sharp lower teeth. The fact that he has the title of Captain in his name suggests that this version is the leader of the other variants of this character, but something interesting is that the Captain as such has not appeared, they appear in several colors except lavender, which is the main one. After Van Van hits us and leaves us unconscious, we wake up on the first floor of the laboratory, and once we use the drone to break a large glass, we can activate a red button that will turn out the lights of that floor. Once this is done, we find an orange card that will help us to use the elevator and go to the second floor of the laboratory. On this floor, we find some pretty strange things. Just when we get there, if we turn to the left, we find a giant fiddle cyan color, and if we turn to the right, we find a fiddle dark green, and next to it, we find a letter that mentions the following. I don't know what happened, one second, they were as docile and peaceful as a kindergarten toddler, and the next, they were ripping the place apart. I think the loud crash might have startled them, I didn't know they were so prone to their instincts. Myself and the rest of the survivors are currently cornered in the main hallway. We are running low on ammunition and energy to defend ourselves. At least, this cannon prop they brought here the other day is finally being put to use. It's only a matter of time before we're left defenseless, and when we do, I had to think about what those things will do to us. We're heading for the lower levels when we see an opening. Nobody's been down there in a while and it should be a safer place to wait this out if we make it. I must leave it at that because I'm getting yelled at for writing this and not helping. Save yourself and get out of here if you can. As we move further into the room, we came across more orange, bright orange, brown, pink and mustard fiddles but the lavender color is not found in this room, so maybe in the third chapter we will see it. The task to do in this room is to extract with the help of a syringe the gibanium from all the fiddles, including the giant fiddle, which we must distract with the drone. Each fiddle drawn on the wall has a different color and appearance. The dark green fiddle is missing its teeth and its size turn upwards to the right. The brown fiddle has a surprise expression and not teeth. The pink one has a vampire-like appearance and it has very large fangs. The mustard colored one is missing an eye and is looking straight ahead. The bright orange fiddle has his eyes closed, which gives him a peaceful or happy look. The cyan fiddle has a sad expression and not teeth. Its monstrous shape also stands out because of its giant size. And the orange one has only one tooth and is cross-eyed. Some interesting facts about this character are that there is an unused monster form of the Captain Fiddles model out of bounds, although it was used in the Garden of Bamban trailer miniature for cell phones. His genome donor was a child, which is confirming one of the case update reports. Solfius is one of the new characters introduced in the second chapter of Garden of Ban Ban. He seems to be a gigantic pale head and has a rather long neck, his face is flat and his head is round. His face has hollow eyes, nose and mouth, plus they are black and squiggly, giving him the appearance of a badly drawn creepy drawing. The lower half of its body is elongated and rod-like 
and is covered by the shadows of the abyss. After we leave the laboratory room in which we were trapped, Solfius will be seen emerge from the abyss. Other than that, he has no representation or any other appearance in the game. In the notes, Solfius is said to live in the abyss or called the basement. He also fits on Gibanium, as it seems that the workers needed to sacrifice three of the monsters. This character will perhaps have more prominence in the following chapters of Garden of Ban Ban. The baby Opila birds are mostly similar to Opila, as they are a miniature version of her, but among the six babies, there is one that stands out. The chick in question is cyan in color with the right details on the claws, wings, beak and feather crest on the head. These chicks are used to complete a small mission in which you have to take the chick to their beds to pass safely through the exit door behind which is Opila bird. When the chicks are in place, you can open the exit door an opila bird will ignore you and go directly to the chick's bed so you can pass safely through the exit of the room. If you open the door too early, opila bird will attack you first. The baby opila birds are very similar to the mini Jumbo Yosh in that they are a miniature version of a pre-existing character. There are 6 babies and the number of eggs we fed opila bird in the first chapter were also 6 so they could be the hatchlings of those eggs except for the secret 7 deck. Once we meet Solfius and go to the middle room, when we enter, we will find a letter that mentions the following. After the recent genetic modifications that were applied to case 10, significant behavioral changes have been observed. Aggression towards certain demographics has been completely replaced with protective and motherly behavior. Said demographics include individuals of a small stature, high-pitched voices, and those which I like attributes, individuals that do not fall into said demographics are still met with extreme aggression that can turn lethal due to the case large size and possession of a very sharp beak. Oddly, said demographics are almost exclusively human with the exception of case 10A, case 10B, case 10C, case 10D, case 10E and case 10F. All organic organisms, birds included, both adult and young, are made with the same level of aggression as humans who do not possess children-related attributes. This has been all for the moment, I hope you like Captain Fiddles, Solfius and the baby Opila Beers made of clay, with this is finished all the characters of the chapter 2 of Garden of Ban Ban, it only remains to wait for the third chapter, also I invite you to subscribe and leave your like, with this you support me a lot, greetings, take care and see you in the next video.